If you guys want any cheap MSP, PSN codes or cheap game codes, make sure you go over to G2A.com and use discount code B87 to get 3% off your total order. Hi guys and welcome to the second episode of the Road to Glory Wager Showdowns BPL of this week. If you guys do want to partake in any of the wagers, make sure you follow me on Twitter on a Friday, Saturday and Sunday. I do get them all done for the coming week just so I definitely have content because we know how unreliable the EA servers are at this current time. If you guys can try and smash over 4,000 likes, that would be absolutely brilliant. Today's and tomorrow's episodes are a little bit um, delayed, mainly down to the Champions League, so I'm uh, not going to clash it with them. Uh, we have pulled it back to 10 o'clock as you're watching now massive thank you to the people who do like the video before watching it all as i do know these episodes are quite long so as you will know and i did talk about it yesterday there is a lack of opponents who are willing to play me on the uh, site if you want the link you can go on through my twitter and you will find it we are coming up against a lot of teams you will recognize and uh, obviously you will see them a lot this week's episode so we come up against this opponent. We are playing for Vincent Company, a player who I love and do actually want him in the team. This guy made some huge defensive errors and we are able to punish it. And, uh, well, I'm not even going to try and brag about my attack in there. But somehow the ball does bounce to Asaide who puts it in to make it 1-0 in the 36th minute. Not a bad finish. Absolutely calamitous defending and attacking. Um... And it was an annoying game. I actually do not like playing this opponent. Not because he's a, a bad player. He's actually a really good player. But it's just a style of games we have. He manages to make it 1-1 in the 56th minute. Um, and that wasn't the last of his goals either. Uh, basically an instant reply. And directly from kickoff. We um, go on the attack. We do pick up the ball with Vardy. And we do manage to make it 2-1. But. He wasn't done there, like I said. He's an annoying opponent who can break through my defence with free passes. And they're the types of opponents I don't really like playing, but obviously we do play them quite often. Um, we then run on with Gabby Abonglahor uh, down the wing and are able to pace through and actually put it underneath as well. Um, and that wasn't the last goal of the game as well. Even in the 76th minute, I thought I was two goals lead. Wasn't actually free. It was actually in the 90th minute. He scores a consolation goal, but doesn't get it in time. You will re recognise that kick. And I recommend you go checking back the episodes as well because there's been some fun games against him. Um, not just me walking away as winner either. So in our first game of today, we do get Vincent Company in the team uh, who will partner uh, Luis and also Akora. But we're going to try and go for our man, that guy, Danny Welbeck. I want him in. I enjoyed him pre-patch and uh, hopefully he, we can replace Vardy. I mean, that's the two um, upgrades I'm going to aim to go for today is to wipe out the informed silvers as I do not really like them. Um, and I'd rather have a non-rare gold in there just to sit comfortably and uh, understand what I am doing. I also want to get this team to full gold pretty quickly so we can aim uh, to play the uh, opponents of all gold teams even though they're going to be quite sweaty. But I say that, and the silver gold mix is a sweaty, because look at the state of that, Mangala, Koscielny, um, uh, he's got Hernandez, who's the fastest BPL striker, I think, up front as well. But it was actually us who took advantage. Gabby Longohor pacing past his defence and is able to smash it in, making it 1-0 in the 17th minute. This was a very interesting game, not going to lie to you, um, because he was dominating most uh, most of the possession, but not actually getting rid of the ball as fast as he wanted. And uh, Gabby was just said to punish him again in the 27th minute, making it 2-0. So it was a counter-attacking goal. And it, as I did explain in the last episode, guys, uh, with uh, Gabby Longohor, I am not an obnoxious FIFA player. I do not like doing the shush celebrations and stuff. It's actually a standard celebration which Gabby has got. Uh, I've been caught out with it a few times. We are then able to make it 4-0 just after halftime. It was a nice over-the-top through ball to Gabby to seal his hat-trick, I think. Um, and I think that's the first hat-trick he's actually got for us and basically sealed Danny Welbeck into the team. Even though Vardy's been all right, didn't really rate him, didn't really rate his informed version. And it was Phil Walcott who smashed it in getting another consolation goal for my opponent. And that is our second win of of this episode so we do manage to get two decent players in the team so far with company and uh, also that guy Welbeck total profit has gone over 400k as well which I am very very happy about and we're going to aim to go for Raphael now to hopefully replace Inform Chambers. Inform Chambers isn't that bad but I, as we as the aim we always go for the goal players um, and the only way we can do that is by getting rid of the Informs. So if we win we get Raphael, if we lose we do go down to Clint, Klein, 
I've said his name wrong, I'm gonna get a butcher for this. But yeah, that's exactly what we're gonna be aiming to do. We do have a few strong links in there, but to be honest, everyone gets full chem regardless as long as they're uh, getting that orange one to them. We come up against probably the sweatiest team I have seen on this FIFA. Not just in the defence, I know the pace in defence is ridiculous, but look at that attack. Theo Walcott on seven chem and Doombia Musa at camp. Barkley as well is a very dangerous player and I was being pinned back from the instant of the game. I could not uh, seem to stop his dribbling. My defence was all over the spot. I don't know if it's the Everton kit giving me bad luck or what, but he does make it 1-0 in the first couple of minutes. Then my defence went to fuckery. It just disappeared and Barkley running on through and it was a nice across shot, which is a shot I can't seem to do this FIFA as well. He does manage to make it 2-0. It takes the game away from me. We managed to score a consolation goal 40 third minute and it was actually Kiate getting on the score sheet. He's started to annoy me. The reason he started to annoy me is because he started drifting up into the attacking midfield role where I do not want him. I want him in that CDM role covering the defence. I don't know what's happening with it. I might have to play it as standard on um, defensive. We then take a lucky break uh, and Zogby are running on through, passes it across and Danny Welbeck is there to score in his debut, getting in front of the goalkeeper and the defender. But the game was not done. Uh, Phil Walcott not going to catch that motherfucker and uh, another style of a cross shot does manage to score. This game was full of goals and I think it's the most goals we've actually played Looking back through the score sheet, this is the most goals in a game you will see um, in this series so far. I very much doubt it's going to be break it broken. So Sanchez breaks on through, high through ball to Welbeck. And Welbeck gets his second goal of his debut and makes it 3-3 in the 45th minute. Quite an annoying game to be honest when you just want a nice easy uh, nice easy 8k wager. But this was definitely not going to happen. Sanchez breaking on through, um, nice individual skill, squares it to Asaida, hits the post. And for some reason another fuckery of a goal we do make it 4-3 the leads then made 5-3 which was brilliant for me um, did want to did want to get him and in the 74th minute shit changed Walcott winning on through not going to stop him don't know why I brought the keeper out. I need, really need to stop that he makes it 5-4 and in the 90th minute you know what's going to happen he manages to uh, get it past Jermichael and make it 5-5 this takes the game to extra time we don't have the option to play extra time and penalties so we go to golden goal which is another match we break on through with Sanchez Sanchez hits the post and um, a nice counter attack does ensue from this it was a nice touch by Doombia and he is one of the rapidest uh, not ra rapidest fastest players on the game uh, to, when you're breaking away on the counter attack and he does manage to square it to Walcott who's there to score probably his fifth game and uh, seal the victory as well so unfortunately we do not get a, an upgrade into the rare gold um, non-rare gold of um Raphael, but we do actually have um, a downgrade to Clint, so it's not actually that bad, but hopefully we can rekindle our love in the next episode. Now guys, if you can try and smash over 4,000 likes, that would be brilliant. Subscribe if you are not subscribed, and comment down below with what you are looking to forward to in this series. And if you are partaking in the wages, remember to check me out on Twitter, which is at Bates87. Until next time guys, see you later, have a very, very nice day.